How much do you enjoy traveling? You know, I didn't travel much this year, and um, I miss it. You know, I do. I, uh, I guess I've always been a world player. You know, and I try to be more of a, a homebody this year and be more in the States. Um, I guess if I played better golf, you know, I would have had a different feeling also. But I, I didn't have a great time on the golf course, and I feel I, I want to play around the world again, and I think I'll do that next year again. David Ledbetter had said, had you not had as you know, crazy a travel schedule as you've had, he doesn't think you would have had as much success as you've had because you would have just gotten bored. To what extent would you agree? Yeah, I absolutely agree with him. You know, and I got a lot of stick for it, for traveling. I mean, a lot of, of my, um, my players um, thought I was doing the wrong thing, but I think David understands me. I, he, he knows that I, I need to sp spread my wings, you know, and, and nowadays it's even easier because a lot of the places I go to, we do golf course designs. You know, we do a lot of design in, in, in China now and in Malaysia, uh, a lot of a lot where I want to play golf also, in the Middle East also. So uh, I see myself playing golf there. I see my, the, the game really growing there. We've got a pretty good brand over there, you know, with, with the wines and stuff. So, um, but just to come back to the golf, I, I really enjoy playing in the Middle East. You know, I've had a lot of success there. I really enjoy playing in the East. I've had success there. So, um, you know, it's just the way I am, I think. You know, I've, I've tried to be just one to a player and, and it just doesn't work for me. I need to be on the road. How about the most interesting place golf has taken you? The most interesting place? You've traveled to for golf. Wow. Um, you know, we played, um, years ago we played and we were talking about the Philippines earlier. And sure. Uh, on the, they got so many islands around, you know, Manila. And we played on this, this island uh, where you had to take a, a boat to. You couldn't fly in there or anything. You know, you had to take a boat to it. And there was a gray marsh design course. Um, and I can't remember what the island is called now, but it was the most beautiful setting I've ever seen in my life with this most beautiful water, you know, that crystal blue water and this tropical paradise. And we, you know, we had, we had dinner on the beach. It was like being, you know, really on another planet and with the most beautiful golf course.